Hey, this is uh, John Kelly here, the writer for, uh, of Fall from Grace, uh, which we continue to explore the post house cutty relationship. We put a lot of thought into how are you going to get house and cutty into a relationship, and just as much or more thought, how do you get them out of that relationship? What we're seeing here in this episode is that we all know that breakups suck, but they suck a lot more if you have to work with the person that you broke up with every single day, like House and Cuddy. Um, and I don't think anyone could accuse House of being passive aggressive. He's more aggressive aggressive, and he's there at the hospital every day, kind of in her face. And all of these things that he's doing, all of these stunts that he's pulling on one level, you could see it as he is trying to get back at Cuddy, but on a deeper level, I think what he really is looking for is just to distract himself and have fun, so he doesn't have to dwell on how bad it actually feels to be dumped by somebody. How they're both approaching the breakup, you can kind of see it in this, this episode. Cuddy, you know, she feels horrible about what happened and the fact that she's the one that, that caused this. And House feels horrible because he's the one that's been dumped. And so we kind of see their dynamic at work and it's almost in the beginning kind of like a lenient parent to a child that you know needs discipline but for whatever reason, because you don't spend enough time with them or you don't see them enough, that you kind of overindulge them. When we take a look at the, all of the stunts that House is pulling at the hospital, they tend to escalate. And there's an actual scene where House flies a helicopter and fires missiles into Cuddy's heart. So on one level, that's quite funny. And then on the other level, there's probably a little bit of symbolism there of uh, the point he's trying to make. The other thing is House getting married. And I don't know what this says about humans in general, but I've known a lot of people that have been in long-term relationships and they go through a breakup and one of that couple all of a sudden like two months later is like hey I'm engaged I'm getting married and I've seen this happen a lot people call it the rebound effect well I think House is taking that to the level of almost well it's satire because he's not really marrying this woman because he wants to get married it's more of a business proposition and it also fulfills the purpose of showing Cuddy oh by the way uh, I'm getting married uh, basically a, a week after they've broken up. One point to all the stunts and the fun that House is having in this episode is that he wants to see an effect on Cuddy. I think Cuddy realizes that and doesn't give House what he wants by ignoring it, by allowing it to continue. And I don't, I think one of the, the best scenes in here is, is towards the end where we actually get a glimpse, and it's only a glimpse because House kind of drops his guard for a moment post-wedding and you can tell that there's a, there's a lot of pain there. The quest now for House and Cuddy is how do we get back to where we were before we were a couple? And we're going to be exploring that uh, in a lot more depth throughout the rest of the season.